When I say street art, we all think different things. Some might be instantly reminded of their favourite murals they walk past on the way to work. Others might think of funny images they've seen on Instagram, and others, most will probably just think of Banksy. What makes it great is the different shapes and forms it can take. In this episode, I take a look at some of my favourite pieces from 2017 that have played with placement and perspective. My name's Doug, you're watching Fifth Wall TV. If you don't already, please make sure you follow Fifth Wall TV on Instagram and why not subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss a thing. The best forms of street art react and respond to the environment they're being created in. This is what separates it to canvases on walls. Let's kick things off with some of the most playful pieces we've seen this year. Fight! <laughs> Leading the pack of this genre is unquestionably French artist Okok. By the likes of Belgian hero to the bin man Jean, Dutch illustrator Dan Votelet, and New York's Tom Bob turn the world into the playground that it should be. And then this from Suits One in Brooklyn. When we step away from paint, things get even more interesting. Year after year, Isaac Cordo keeps us on the lookout for his morbid city workers, which appear everywhere from Aberdeen to Indonesia. And then Italian artists talk talk continue to just take things off the scale. Though this one from Lorenzo Quinn still stands as one of the most powerful installations I've seen this year. Once you throw politics into the mix, things do start to get really serious. Or not. Not everything is always as it seems with street art and sometimes it's just a matter of being in the right place at the right time to catch that special moment. I'm a big fan of pieces like this from Spanish artist Amparito that subtly distort the natural environment. A regular theme in Finton McGee's mural work over the year too. When it comes to text manipulation, two names that stand out every year are Odith and Peter, who do this on such a massive scale. And we couldn't do this section without giving at least a mention to the continued anamorphic perspective work of Leon Keir. Hands down, one of my favourites from this year was this absolute gem from Ellie and Charlie. So that was my list. I asked you guys what your favourites were and naturally you didn't disappoint. Paul Stone came in with this, this, this and this. Bjorn gave Ellie and Charlie a nod as well. Although this one was back in 2016, we'll give it a pass because it's that damn good. We also 100% agree with At Walls Art who thought this by Banksy in Dover was one of the standout pieces from the year. And At Sazi Sofiri gave props to this absolute beast by Majmenos in Norway. There you have it, not a bad year in the world of placement and perspective. We've still got a couple of weeks around the corner, so who knows what might be in store. I'm bound to have missed a few out anyway, so make sure you let me know your favourites in the comment section. Till next time, I've been Doug, this was Fifth Wall TV. There you go, an entire video with almost no politics. No hidden agendas, just pure fun as promised. Next week, I have no idea what the video is, but I'm sure it's going to be good. You! Win!